You've probably heard the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. This can easily be seen when looking at a book and a movie. While a book can take you a couple of days to read, a director of a movie can show you the same ideas in just a couple of hours. This concept of using pictures to communicate can also be a powerful strategy in solving mathematics. In math, drawing pictures to represent problems will help us understand and solve problems more quickly. One way to do this is by using bar diagrams, is what we'll be doing today. Bar diagrams help us visualize the relationship among all the numbers that are given and the relationship between the knowns and the unknowns. Let's look at a couple of problems to see how we can use bar diagrams to represent and solve problems. So the first problem is, Cody and Phil are brothers. Cody is twice as old as Phil, and their ages add up to 18. So how old is Cody? So first, let's just represent Phil's age by using one bar. So we'll just use one bar right here. And that will be Phil's age. Now since Cody is twice as old as Phil, we can use the same bar for Phil, but just use it twice. So we'll be using two of Phil's bars. to represent Cody's age. And the last thing they tell us is that if the sum of their ages is 18, how old is Cody? So the sum of their ages is 18, which means these three blocks add up to 18. And since each block is equivalent, each of them representing Phil's age, we could find out how many years each block represents by simply dividing 18 by 3. So since we divided 18 by 3, 6 gives us how many years each block represents. And since Phil only has one block to represent his age, Phil is only 6 years old. And since Cody has two blocks of six to represent his age, Cody is six plus six years old, or Cody is 12 years old. So let's look at what the question asks us. How old is Cody? Cody is 12 years old. And we've solved the problem. It's Christmas time, and Mia decided to buy a doll and a doll outfit for her sister. The total was $12.50, and the outfit cost $2.50 more than the doll. The question is, how much did Mia spend on the doll? What we're going to want to do first is to draw a bar to represent the cost of the doll. So this bar will, re will represent the cost of the doll. Next we're going to want to draw a bar diagram for the outfit. Since the outfit is $2.50 more than the doll, first we're going to draw a bar that's equivalent to the doll's bar. And then we're going to want to draw another bar that represents the $2.50. And they told us earlier that in total it costs $12.50 for both the doll and the outfit. First, we're going to want to find how much just these two blocks cost. So we're going to want to take $2.50 and subtract it from $12.50. $12.50 minus $2.50, which should give us $10. And if these two bars cost $10, and they are equivalent bars, then each bar should represent $10 divided by 2, which is $5. And if, and if each bar costs $5, then we can answer the question which says, 
how much did Nia spend on the doll? And the doll is just one bar, which is $5. So the answer is $5. Let's recap. First, draw a bar diagram. In the bar diagram, use bars to represent the knowns and the unknowns and how they relate to each other. Next, use the bar diagram to solve the unknowns. In the next video, we will show you more examples of how to solve math problems using bar diagrams. So stay tuned.